I told his children, he said he doesn't want uh, public money spent lies on his children, but he tells whopper after whopper after whopper. And I didn't have the time in my questions earlier to deal with some of the lies he told about early embryology. Yes, people misrepresented his work, but it's a, a fact of life that's been so abundantly uh, proven in embryolog embryology and then embryological uh, genetics that the very early stages of organisms after organisms resemble each other much more than later stages, which does not prove evolution, but is certainly consistent with it. And is consistent, um, it is easily consistent with it. Uh, regarding the, uh, some of his other lies earlier, I'm just not going to elaborate, except to say, no, I'm not going to say anything more about uh, uh, any of this. Lucy was found in the dirt. 
You don't know that Lucy had any kids. You sure don't know if she had different kids. And you don't know any much more about it than 40% of the skeleton was found. The three feet tall, people who looked at it said it was a chimpanzee or some kind of type of ape-like creature. And that is not evidence of evolution. That's not evidence of hyperactive imagination. It should have been on uh, probably some kind of drug to calm it down. <laughs> I think this final example is typical of so much of the performance we've been treated to from Dr. Hoban. Uh, Hoban restrains irrelevant material designed to mislead. Whether the man Grant was running out or was not, he found a fossil, described it, and so on. You can always find scientists that, that will take a different view of a given piece of evidence, especially when it first occurred. Um, there are a whole series of fossils like a Lucy, not in Sumatra, if I heard him say that, but in East Africa, in Kenya and Tanzania, including the famous Lightly footprints laid down around three million years ago. All these things are dated back to the same time. So this is not fantasy, and the other and, this, and the stuff he tosses up about what year it was, Johansson found it, whether he found money or not, is all so much irrelevant. Now, to get back to the previous one that people thought I'd done, no, I want to stick to the format here, and I want to go home and get a good night's sleep so I can do some evolutionary genetics tomorrow. Uh, one of uh, his little devices is to comb the printed world for quotations, often taken out of context, and used to suggest something different. He's done it over and over and over again. You'd never guess that Stephen Jay Gould is a major supporter of evolution. Because he finds a little quote in which Gould says, hey, speciation might have occurred quickly, which is what Stephen Jay Gould's copy horse. Bill Kosadusha, an expert on birds, uh, who believes in their evolution that they came from crocodile forms and so on. Yet the quote he holds out in the context he does makes you think that these major scientists are doubting evolution itself. It is not true. Now, where he holds out this bizarre quote, that after looking at 80 million fossils or whatever he had in his collection, he still couldn't find a missing link. I don't know, and I don't know what the man meant by it. There is ultimately, you know, the notion that there's a single missing link is a kind of hopeless venture, uh, especially when antagonistically viewed. There are a whole series of links that gradually increase your confidence that you can establish connections between these sets of non-reproducing bones that these two things are. Thanks. I hope you've enjoyed this video series on creation, evolution, and dinosaurs. Much more important, though, than knowing all the truth and facts about science is to know the truth about whether you're going to heaven or not. If you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, uh, let me explain quickly what you need to do to go to heaven. The Bible says we're all sinners. We've all broken God's laws. We've disobeyed the Creator. We've, we've done wicked things. We're sinners. Some are worse than others, at least in man's eyes, but we've all broken God's laws. And the Bible says you have to repent. The word repent means to turn. It actually means two things, to turn from your sin and to turn to God. God's looking for a change in your attitude where you say, Lord, I don't want to do wrong anymore. I'm sorry, I've offended you. I want to do right. And you turn from sin and you turn to God and say, God, would you please forgive me? Would you save me? The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You need to admit you're a sinner. Number two, the Bible says in Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. We deserve to die and go to hell because of our sin. But Jesus died for you. He loves you. He wants you to come to heaven. And anybody that will ask him for the free salvation...